Hello and welcome to the Wealthy Trades Weekly Recap. This is Tyson Clayton for Wealthy Trades, and in this video I'm going to recap last week's price action, uh, last week being the week of April 6th. Uh, it was a very bullish week. In fact, if you look at the weekly dashboard, you see that we're still in an uptrend, and the quality is above 50%. In fact, every sector uh, within the S&P 500 um, is in, a sec uh, in an uptrend, except the energy sector. The energy sector is still in a downtrend, but it's actually starting to turn around and starting to show some signs of strength also. Um, this week was extremely bullish for the market. Let's look at the SPY real quick, which is the ETF uh, for the S&P 500. Um, this week, uh, it was, was as I said, a, a very, very bullish week. It, we ended up uh, closing at 210.04, uh, but we opened the week, okay, and we take opening prices. Uh, typically, we do not hold positions over the weekend for our weekly trades, and we do not hold positions overnight for our day trades, okay? So that's very important. I'll talk about that uh, a little more in a, in a bit. But we opened the week at 205.37, and we closed at 210.04. Uh, 04. So we're talking, uh, you know, two and a quarter, well over 2% rally in the market. Just a just a great week for the bulls. And I'd been talking about this um, pretty much over the last two, three, four weeks, how, again, actually longer than that, how this area that we've been kind of consolidating in um, for what seems to be forever. I mean, we're already, you know, almost mid-April. We've been kind of in this, uh, in this between 211 to uh, down to, you know, 204 area since November, really. Um, so we're talking, you know, five, six months of, of consolidation. And what I've been saying is that uh, this is a key area that we're basing at this area where, as you can see, we went into a downtrend and then we shifted into an uptrend. And it was it was kind of a key shift because we went above all time highs when we went into that uptrend. And now we're basing and I, I think what's going to happen and I've been saying this for a while, we break above this 211 area, then I think we're going to put in another rally that looks like this rally that we got from uh, October through, you know, mid-December of last year um, that pushed us up, you know, right around probably, I think we got uh, almost 10% rally there. And I think we're going to get the same here. I think we're heading, if we break the 211 on the SPY, which is about 2100 on the S&P 500, I think are 20, uh, 21, uh, 20 or so. I think we're heading uh, to probably about uh, 230 on the SPY, about 2300 in the S&P 500. So I am very bullish and, uh, you know, I'm using the WealthyTrades.com dashboard uh, as my gauge. It's obviously what I use every day. It's it's the my main source. Um, for those that, that uh, don't know, it's very important that you go to our resource center every day. All right, subscribers need to go there. First of all, you need to subscribe because you've got to stay in front of this information. Um, and, and the performance we had last week will show you exactly why you got to stay, stay in front of this information. But um, each day I post my daily uh, forecast, and I do this before the market opens, and I post them um, for subscribers under the resource tab in the podcast area, okay? So you need to go there before the market opens each day, especially if you're a day trader, um, so you can kind of see what I'm seeing and uh, get an idea of the plays that I'm gonna be going into. Um, on Monday, I'll post my video, uh, and it uh, looks like we're gonna probably do a pairs trade on Monday, but for the week, we are still looking to be bullish, um, which again, I will post uh, Monday's video. I'll post the trades I'm gonna be looking at uh, for, for next week uh, on Monday morning before the market opens. I'll post the trades for Monday and for all next week. Um, and they'll be in the resource center under the podcast tab. So again, all subscribers, first of all, you gotta subscribe. Second of all, don't let your, your trial expire. Um, without subscribing. Um, we do have a deep discount for the first thousand subscribers. Uh, sign up as soon as possible because we are getting a very big demand for our product. So uh, sign up right away um, so you don't miss any of the, this information. But let's dive into what happened last week. Again, as I said, we had a big, big rally, but I want to dive into uh, the calls that we actually made on Monday, what we did is, um, let's talk about the weekly trades first. We rolled into the week um, very similar, actually, to this week, where the market is in an uptrend and the quality was above 50%. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to structure long positions. And last week, the XLP, or the consumer staple sector, was the best sector to go into. And last week, the consumer staple sector was up 1.22%. And, and every time I quote percentages, uh, just so everybody knows, it's based on the opening price Monday, okay, and then the closing price 
on Friday. So it, it's it's not accounting for any gapping on on between uh, you know Friday over the weekend. It's assuming that okay, you listen to these videos, uh, it gives you a realistic opportunity to get into those positions at the opening price on Monday. So uh, from the opening on Monday to the closing price on Friday, the XLP was up 1.22%. The best stock in the XLP that we called out was KR. Uh, that's been the best stock for the, over the last two weeks. Uh, but the best stock was KR. It was up 0.44% from the opening price on Monday to the closing price on Friday. So uh, not bad. Um, you know, it's kind of in line with what the market did. Um, so not not bad. We'll do a similar trade this week, but it'll be in the healthcare sector. And again, you'll want to make sure you watch our video so you know exactly what stocks I'm going into. I actually have some really cool options plays that I'm going to be looking to do this week too. Um, if you remember, on Friday I posted an options trade on Apple, uh, bought the uh, uh, the calls in Apple uh, because they were undervalued just for a day trade, and they worked out uh, pretty well. Not as well as I'd like to, but worked out for a nice profit. But uh, for the monthly trade, just wanted to recap, all month long, um, the the uh, dashboard has been in an uptrend. This will stay static. The monthly tab will stay like this all month long until the month closes. That's important to understand. This weekly tab is going to look like this all week long until the week closes, until next week closes, and then it will update. The daily tab updates every day at the end of each day. So all month long, this is going to look the same, and we've been in an uptrend, and the healthcare sector has been the best sector to be in, and we've been talking about that all month. Um, and so the XLV is the best sector to be long all month long, all right? We've been talking about that since the beginning of the month, and then the best stock in the, in the healthcare sector is uh, CAH, um, and uh, so the healthcare sector itself is up 2.12%. And CAH is up 0.35%. Uh, so not huge, but uh, doing okay. We're going to hold it all month long. Um, that is the best sector to be in. For the day trades, we did very well last week. Um, and uh, it was it was a great week for us. Um, not just long. Again, we, we substantially outperformed the market. And we weren't just long, even in a big bullish market. We did a lot of Paris trading. On Monday, what we did is we went long Halliburton and short Google because the qu trend quality was below um, 50%. And again, we post these under our resource tab in the podcast center. I post these videos every single day before the market opens. So on the 6th, on Monday, I posted a video saying, hey, go long Halliburton and short Google. Um, that trade, if you would have done that, was up 2.85%. On Tuesday, before the market opened, I posted a video and we uh, called out a long position in RRC, up 2.8%. On Wednesday, we did a pairs trade. The quality was below 50%. Um, I did a pairs trade of DVN, uh, long DVN, short eBay. It was down about uh, half a percent. Thursday, same type of trade, long OMC, short uh, LLY, down about 0.55%. Uh, and then on Friday, we had a decent day. Uh, we did another pairs trade, um, long Halliburton. Uh, short THC up 0.3%. Uh, but overall for the week, we had a great Monday and Tuesday. Overall for the week, we were uh, for our day trades up 4.9%. That is great, uh, phenomenal outperformance. Um, we have great outperformance on our monthly trades and our weekly trades uh, overall. Uh, will consistently outperform. Um, you got to stay in front of this information. We had a great week last week. We're going to continue to put out our trades. You got to make sure, again, you go to the resource tab so you can stay in front of the trades that we are looking at every day, okay? And I put these out before the market opens so you know exactly what I'm going to be doing in my own portfolio. I'll be putting this out on Monday, um, telling, you, telling you what day trades I'm going to be going into and then what trades I'm looking at for the week. Just a little hint, I've got five options trades that I'm looking at uh, this week that are substantially undervalued that I think offer amazing opportunities, and I'll be posting that uh, tomorrow. you got to make sure that you stay in front of this information. Ask questions at info at wealthytrades.com if you don't understand anything that's going on. Uh, but watch the videos. Make sure you subscribe um, and tell your friends and family. This is powerful information so you know how to trade in each market environment. First of all, where's the market moving? Second of all, is the environment uh, a quality environment? And then where's the best places to allocate money? This is WealthyTrades.com, and it is the most powerful suite of trading tools you'll ever, ever have access to. So subscribe today, get the discount, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Email me at info at WealthyTrades.com. Make sure you watch our resource videos so you stay up to date, and hopefully we can have another great week next week. We'll talk to you tomorrow.